with Emma at the ladies only swimming pond on Hampstead Heath. In payment for those mornings at the mirror, while at her expense, I'd started my late learning in applied French braids for all the mornings afterward of hush and just stand still to make some small amends for every regimented bath time and short shrifted goodnight kiss. I did as I was told for once, gave up my map, let Emma lead us through the woods by instinct as the drunkard knew the natural prince. We had no towels. We had no bathing costumes, as the children's novels call them here, and I am summer's dullest hand at unpremeditated moves. But when the coppice of sheltering boxwood disclosed its path and posted rules, our wonted bows to seemliness seemed poor excuse. The ladies, in their lumpy variety, lay on their public half-acre of lawn. The water lay in dappled shade, while Emma in her underwear and I in an ill-fitting borrowed suit availed us of the breaststroke and a modified crawl. She's eight now. She will rather die than do this in a year or two, and lobbies even as we swim to be allowed to cut her hair. I do, dear girl. I will give up this honey-colored metric of augmented thirds. But not. Shall we climb on the raft for a while? Not yet.